All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I am in the house with these knives. I got uh, other trays than this one, but we're going to start with this one. I'm just going to go through the collection and just show what I have right here on my table. And um, so some are newer, newest uh, additions, uh, some are still there since a long time, some are gone from the previous videos, you know, that's the nature of the collection, just flowing, it's, uh, it's a fluid collection, so some are still here, some are not, let's see what's new, for example, this is a price design, this is the Dawn V2, it's a liner lock, it's pretty cool, I love the design uh, uh, language in this one, nice standoffs, titanium, it's uh, yeah, pretty cool, M390 steel, um, we got a winter blade factor uh, with the uh, magnetic lock and this beautiful swing, when you deploy it, it's just really cool sound. Uh, magnetic lock has a carbon fiber uh, lock side, uh, the clip side, let's see, and uh, it's a pretty fidgety one. Look at this. Yeah, it looks pretty good and just crazy action. Right next to this, we got something pretty cool. This is the Hog House a Model T. It's a titanium frame lock, super slick. Look at these lines. A little bit of a soft detent, but uh, I really appreciate. Uh, how clean this look is. That's very nice, isn't it? Look at this. That's pretty cool. Uh, next to this guy, there's uh, yeah something that I cannot sell uh, ever because this is the fab edition for the Lithier um, from Fontanil Pateau with some mammoth pulp uh, scales and damas steel bolsters and. Uh, of course, blade, nice uh, lanyard hole uh, right, right over here for your bead, which is just spring loaded. And it's because this is a, it's locking, it's a lock back. So pretty cool engraving right over there. Uh, right up uh, uh, to next to that, we got, of course, uh, this Chris Reeve Knives Nandy. This is the Blade HQ exclusive with carbon fiber inlays and uh, look at this basket weave Damascus blade so uh, this is one of my favorite uh, gentlemen's carry it's so sleek so elegant my my wife loves this one because it's so well designed so smooth and uh, nobody's gonna get scared this is like a wedding carry kind of thing and of course we got uh, blade hq exclusive right over here you see the large ink cozy with the carbon fiber inlays it's sporting a millet clip also uh, with carbon fiber inlay you can of course uh, uh, just uh, do deploy like with your thumb it's not all the time it's just successful but uh, of course it's running on washer so the action you know you gotta wiggle it uh, much more than the others if you wanna get it closed. So we got the same thing going on over here, but in a shrinked or shrunk, sorry, uh, size, because this is the small Sebenza 21 Blade HQ exclusive with a basket weave uh, blade. And uh, sorry, and uh, yeah, carbon fiber inlays, of course, millet clip with the carbon fiber inlaid uh, also on that clip. Really, really cool. This is the sh uh, shrunk version, sorry, of this guy right over here, which is the, like you see, yeah, sometimes I fail, but uh, uh, this is the large Sebenza 21 with the raindrop Damascus and carbon fiber inlays and uh, a custom uh, carbon fiber backspacer, which just adds to the uh, perfection of this design, one of the most iconic knives. Uh, if you are like a knife enthusiast or collector or knife nerd, you probably know about the Sebenza. And yeah, this is a pretty cool version. Uh, right next to that, we're gonna go up in price considerably. Considerably, this is a Cody Utsler duck. Uh, one of my favorite uh, additions, uh, especially with this slotted uh, frame milled uh, and you get zirconium accent all over the place, which is my, my preferred uh, uh, configuration with this guy. And I mean, I, I love knives with titanium frame locks and zirc accent, studs, colors, uh, spacer, and uh, the pocket clip. By the way, this guy is running on washers and uh, it has a ridiculously smooth action uh, deploying and just closing so nice right next to that we got Walter Randolph and this is the mini chaos another ridiculously good knife uh, fantastically made uh, it's just I, I just love it it's uh, 
titanium frame lock, this guy has Zirku tie, accent, clip, collar, spacers, uh, just zirconium uh, studs, but the action, guys, look at this, it's just ridiculously nice and runs on IKBS. So uh, right over here, um, I've got something, of course, spectacular. This is the Kirby Lambert Augustus uh, uh, Mammoth uh, uh, Ivory and uh, Bronze Zirconium Bolster with some uh, meteorite uh, windowed in this underlay. And of course, the backspacer, Zirk Clip Hidden Screw, and the whole boy, how cool is this Dama Core Gross Rosen uh, blade uh, in a compound grind? Uh, just uh, just uh, something like out of this world. Fantastic action. It's a big boy. Uh, gorgeous one. And uh, next to that, we got CKF. This is Bob Terzwola, uh Eagle Rock. And it's a big folder, guys. This is a very, very big one. It got some uh, uh, Zirku tie, I believe. Uh, uh, pivot colors, uh, nice uh, backspacer, carbon fiber with some hints of red, uh, titanium bolsters, you got the disc, uh, compound grind, the fuller, I mean, there's a lot of thing going on in this big boy. And next to that big boy, there's another big boy. Um, this is the Shirogorov Lee Williams collaboration, 110 kickstop, in fact, you see the kickstop mechanism is just this fella right over here, right? So the flipper tab, pretty much disappearing into the handle and just being exposed for you to deploy this 110 millimeters blade. That's why the name uh, collaboration. This is a titanium frame lock with a lot of details going on on this guy uh, for sure. The action, of course, is spectacular because this fella is running on roller bearings. And now we're gonna go on to tray two. which has uh, some of the Shirogorov uh, knives that I own. And this, these are truly, truly spectacular uh, examples of Shirogorov uh, lineup. So here we got the Cordinal. So this is a Sinkevich uh, design. There's a little bit of oil on the blade, the ZDP. Um, Sinkovich collaboration. This is a fantastic one. Uh, 2012. Uh, this was just ridiculous back then. So ahead of the time. Fantastic ergos. Uh, it's just crazy. Guys, look at the milling going on over here. You get a moon glow uh, insert, pins, a backspacer, a polished blade. The action on multi row bearings is just like this. It's, it's, it's insane. One of the best ergonomics in the business, in my opinion. So fantastic one. Right next to that, we got a custom division F95T or Turtle. Um, this is a, a crazy knife. Fantastic. It does some pretty cool colors, uh, spacers, uh, M398 steel, uh, roller bearings. Uh, uh, guys, I mean, check this detail right here on the back. How cool is this? And the action, of course, is just like this. Yeah, it's crazy. Next to that, uh, uh, we got this pretty cool and rare Neon 3D Bronze. Uh, custom division as well, slotted pivot micro milling on the handle, bronze uh, spacer and uh, S90V with a double swedge uh, going on on the blade. It's just like a insanely rare knife to to find and um, yeah I'm so grateful that I got this one so this is the neon 3d bronze and this is the neon NL which is a little bit different is the um, newest iteration of the custom division neon uh, with carbon fiber inlays fantastic milling going on on the scale you got some colors going on of course the only thing is that uh, this clip is a little bit too stiff that's the only thing but uh, the action -hoo 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 -hoo. guys ridiculously good like, I mean and a handle to blade ratio of this thing is just spectacular uh, it's just uh, crazy s110v it's written somewhere right over here yeah there you go so high-end stuff for sure and uh, f5 uh, silk with the uh, zirk uh, Colors, spacer, nice titanium frame lock uh, right over here. This fella is running on uh, roller bearings, like all the custom division, almost. And uh, Vanax 37. <laughs> Guys, 
Oh, well, that's really cool. And of course, uh, one of the best knives ever. Uh, this is the F3 NS Custom Division. Uh, probably one of my favorite knives. Look at the lasering on the blade is just crazy. Uh, liner lock, titanium. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, when, when you feel this thing in your hand going like this, guys. It's really hard to beat. One of my favorite knives and also, again, custom uh, division quantum bronze with Vanadi stand blade. And it has like some crazy, look at the laser engraving on the flipper tab skeletonization or on in this uh, groove on the blade. I mean, the detail on this fella is just crazy. Look at the, look at the lock just, just I mean, guys. Uh, it's just something ridiculously good. And next to that, we got the small version of the Quantum, which is the Mini Quantum. This is not a custom division. Uh, you can see from the duck foot pivot collar, this is a full uh, custom Quantum, uh, mini, uh, mini Quantum, sorry, which is sporting. Check this out. This is a spring-loaded uh, pocket clip. Uh, if you want to know more, check the review on this fella. Uh, S90 V steel and uh, four bolster, concave milling, uh, floating backspacer. Uh, the clip uh, spring-loaded with the ramp. Uh, it's just like something really, really crazy. Skeletonized flipper tab and blade. One of the most expensive knives that I own, but one of the most... Uh, in uh, with one of the most innovations especially for the clip uh, in it let's go to the next uh, tray guys and right over here um we got uh, some other goodies uh let's start from from these guys because this is a set of uh, five mini cannabis uh, knives uh, um these are from a uh, project called born in vegas between Sergei Shirogorov and Dmitry Sinkevich. Uh, so we got a 10. All right, we got a jack right over here. All right. So uh, we got, um, of course, we got a queen. Oh, obviously. Some nice milling. And uh, we got uh, the king right over here with some inlaid milled. 3D milled scales, and of course we got the Ace of Spades in a, a zircotai handle, and of course zirconium uh, spacer, uh, something just truly, and I say truly, uh, worth of the word grail, because uh, yeah, this is just a straight set, so 10 jack, Queen, King, and Ace uh, from this fantastic set. So something truly unreal to, to, to be able to, to showcase on the channel. Uh, right over here, uh, Peter Rassenti Nirvana. That's a 4.0 with the Moku Thai handle, hand rub blade. So another fantastic Canadian uh, knife. And last but not least, I got a couple of holes. Here there's the haptic in a Zirku Thai uh, handle, liner lock, really, really cool. And uh, of course, hold blade works, uh, Spectre in a Time Mask uh, handle, liner lock configuration V4. So, uh, I mean, these are my favorite knives uh, that are presently, uh, currently in my collection. And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little overview. Uh, and yeah, if you wanna know more, Check out my other videos. There's a bunch of reviews about this, fellas, if you want to see a little bit more detailed uh, uh, views of these gorgeous pieces. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.